Minecraft. It's here! Intersection 4 finally is here! And so, in Uncharted Territory 2, we are going to do some recon on the different areas and go ahead and get started with one. We'll kill lots of bad guys and be able to get some good enchants. Let's go ahead and get started. Here we are at our new base at Intersection 4 in Uncharted Territory 2. And it occurs to me that now that I have iron and I can get lots more iron, I should probably make an anvil. Because then, rather than having to worry about random enchants, and I've hardly ever managed to get protection, um, I could use the anvil to repair some more other iron armor and chain armor in order to kind of keep protection and enchantments. And so that would be a good thing. I think to start off this episode, we should recon each of the remaining areas. We still have four wolves to get, and there's only three areas. I presume the brown will will be an offshoot of one of these other areas. But we just came from Titan Falls, and so let's take a look inside the quiet to get started. I have some half-decent metal armor, but not a lot of gear on me right now. Ooh, I just heard a zombie fall. Did he fall from... Yep, he's up there. All right, so it is possible for monsters to spawn up there. I lit up in front of the entrance from Titan Falls, but not the other places. And so it is possible for monsters to fall on our head in here. And so I'll probably go light that up off camera. But let's not worry about that right now. Another one of these long hallways that I'm worried that there'll be invisible blocks. And is that lava? Yes, because that seems to be a theme of this intersection. Ooh, looks like a safe fall with a chest. Looks like there's an area behind me, perhaps. It's lit up. Um, no easy kind of way back up right now. Let's, let's take a risk. Oh, what's happening? What's hitting me? It's silverfish. Of course it's silverfish. Um, I think I have sharpness, and so I can do that. And I hear something behind me. Oh, it's mobs. All right. How clever. We make it look like it's a nice lit up area, but the moment you get down here, you discover it was only the tiny little front that was lit up and nice. Um, all right. Now, well, there is a bit more lighting. Um, I'm not sure exactly where the silverfish were spawning. Uh, I'm not sure if it was up top or somewhere down here. I guess it's down here, because it sounds like I hear them again. Um, let's see. I guess let's get a little bit of light in here. I might want to take a night vision potion so that I can see. Well, I can see most of the way into the back. Yeah, we'll try to get a little bit of light in here and just kind of see what we can see. Right now, the area seems pretty nondescript. In that it seems like it's just kind of a big open cavern. Oh, you were a pain in the neck. All right, I'm going to have to find that spawner, too. I guess it is down here. Let's just add some light. 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 Kind of in the front of the area. Get the high ground. Take out him at range. And then these guys, you can help me out with them. Somewhat. Probably breaking some glowstone. Did I not shoot you? Guess I didn't finish him off. Darn it. And who knows how many of these are silverfish blocks. All right. And, oh, there's some bedrock there. All right, the silverfish, it seems like you just spawned kind of right in front of here. And so let's see if we can find the spawner. Let's also... Okay, that's a silverfish block, but these are not. Uh, where could the spawner be? Oh, and I never looked in the chest down there. Okay, and I saw one spawn up there, which means the spawner has to be higher. Darn it. Darn it. All right, so let's try around here. Oops. I see you. There you are, too. You guys are going to ruin my armor. Not that this armor was all that great anyway. Ah, there we go. Okay. Let's check out what's in this chest. Ladders. That was kind. And some blocks. All right, I'll use the ladders to have a way back up. And 
then I think I ought to do a little bit more recon about this area, simply because I still feel like I know nothing about it. Oh, and the blocks, I see. Where does it so I could, like, build myself something to put the ladders on? All right. Um, I'll take a minute to do that off camera, and then we'll go a little bit deeper into this area before we go back. Oh, darn it. Another silverfish just spawned. Oh, and this sword. I got a critical hit on him, and that wasn't enough. And where exactly did he spawn? It was somewhere right around here. And so we'll add a little bit more light. And then stand back and see if we can see the silverfish spawner. Ah. Go away. I'm tired of you guys. I need to eat. All right, I'm going to stand here and look for spawner flames. All right, I didn't see the flames, but I did see the silverfish appear kind of right around here. Ah, I see. There's an exposed spawner. Whoa, and my game just lagged up for no obvious reason. And let's go ahead and add a little bit more light over here. And I think there might still be silverfish spawners. And I wonder if this whole area is just going to be filled with random silverfish spawners. I might have gotten enough of a sense of this area. <laughs> it's already tiresome. Um, yeah, I'm going to build my little way back up. I'll see you guys in a minute and we'll go recon another section, I think. All right, so I just added lights above that entrance. I was about to add lights above this one. And there is smooth stone right here rather than stone brick and so one would imagine that something special is hiding over here all right i didn't find anything behind the smooth stone and i added the lights at the top to make the intersection a little bit safer and i forgot to check the name of this intersection sands of despair and there's a creeper right at the front hello creeper how are you let's stand back a little bit and can I hit you through here? There we go. All right, great. And so let's see what the sands of despair are. Once again, lava light in the ceiling. It does seem to be some kind of desert. There's a chest right at the front, and it does look like there's sand, and I bet you there's going to be sand traps in here. And I believe I also hear, yep, a skeleton coming to find us. Do I not have, I don't have a power bow. That's why I wasn't able to kill those other skeletons. All right, we're going to fix that before we go any further. And it seems like the skeletons might be dropping down right from the entrance. Um, all right, and we're getting plenty of resistance right at the beginning of this area. Let me go get a better bow. I'll be right back. I did already have a power one bow. I guess I just didn't fully charge the shots. Um, however, I did grab a better pick because my pick was starting to get used up. And actually, these vines could be an ally to me over here. Uh, I see a chest right there, and I am tempted to run out and grab it. But I also see, whoa, there's some spawners. Uh, I can also see that there's, what's the word I'm looking for? Sand, sand, the sands of despair between me and it. And there are a lot of skeletons at the entrance here, and so I'm guessing the spawners I saw were skeleton spawners. And so I'm pretty sure the sand is gonna fall. And so let's try to be careful and just run to the edge. Get a little bit of a better perimeter of light over here without actually triggering the sand. Well, I guess I should trigger the sand probably, but just not fall in it myself. And I'm gonna use up the sword. Well, the good news is I'm going to get a whole bunch of arrows as well. Um, wow, those guys are mean. All right, let's see if the sand falls. Oh, I heard a TNT trap. Whoa! 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 Um, ouch. That was mean. That was very mean. I see some redstone. I already have a fair bit of redstone, and so I don't know that that was worth it. Um, yuck. Yuck. 
All right. Well, I will kind of safe and safe and make safe. Is there a safe in word? I don't think safe in is a word. I will make safe uh, this area and kind of cut out another entryway into the area. Um, but yeah, that does not make me feel good about <laughs> what's going to happen in this area. Yuck. That was mean. This is a little bit like with the falling sand. Uh, it's a little bit like in Waking Up. I can't think of the name of the area. Um, was it also called Sands of Despair? I don't think it was. Um, yeah. All right, that's not fun. Okay, and finally, let's take a peek at Null and Void, Revenge of the Void. And so, as I said, I actually enjoyed the first Null and Void area. I'm not sure if I should do this one first. Uh, or if I do it last, I can effectively use, you know, whatever armor and items I want. And then if I fall into the void with them, it doesn't matter because it's the last area and I won't need them for anything in the future. Yeah, I'm not sure. In any case, there's a sign here. Fun fact. I can sp spawn mobs holding enchanted weapons. For instance, skeletons with punch five on their bows. But that's just an example. I'm not that mean, right? I see. So it sounds like any skeleton arrow. I see blaze spawners on top of um, ender crystals, so we can blow them up at range. Um, I'm not carrying anything too great. I actually took off some armor that was getting beat up. And yeah, let's at least take a peek inside. There could be spawners that are going to like spawn right below us. Let's go ahead and take out. Display is spawner. Whoa, and it took out both of them, and there was gravel there that I hadn't noticed yet. Okay, there's lots of gravel in this area. The next question is, is there anything right above me at the entrance? I don't see anything. I don't see spawners nearby that would spawn some skeletons that would then fall on my head. Let's also go ahead and do that and that okay i just heard another fire is that from another ender crystal lots and lots of void down there it looks like there's some gas spawners down in the corner perhaps straight ahead that would be a skeleton spawner oh no <laughs> it looks like almost an intersection and then there's a building over here and over here. And then a stairway up and up and up. And so it seems like we need to go up. And I see some kind of crazy cages up here. And so one would presume... I could take a night vision potion in here again and like see it a whole lot better. Let's go ahead and knock out the gravel before I forget about that. All right. Well, this will definitely be an interesting area. I think it may actually be fun. I wonder, should I take out the ender crystals that are already up top? They're adding a tiny bit of light, but I don't think enough that it's going to be, like, getting rid of any mobs up there. And so let's see if I can take this out. Yes, and it took out all four. It does make it darker up there. Uh, then I don't have to worry about those things later on, possibly exploding and doing something to me. Um, all right, this area looks interesting. I'll have to think about it. There's another tower over there. And so I wonder... Looks like you could conquer any of these towers and then from there get to the next staircase up. All right, well, that'll be interesting. Um, I actually think that probably will be another fun area again. Close that off just to be super safe. And which of these areas do I want to tackle first? I think actually the quiet with the silverfish seem the most innocuous, and so that would be a good way to get things started. So I will get equipped, and we will head over there. Haha! -ha. Let's put the anvil... Near the enchanting table, since they're kind of related. 
Um, that's good. Haha! <laughs> I love that sound. Let's also do some quick experiments. I don't know enough about the anvil yet, but if I have efficiency in unbreaking and an efficiency 1, for 10 I can get efficiency 2 in unbreaking, which would be good. And that's relatively cheap. I wonder if I just enchanted, I might get efficiency 2 in unbreaking as well. And if I had a broken down one of these, and then also could I just use iron, except for then I wouldn't get efficiency 2, I'd only have efficiency 1. And then does the order matter? Does this also cost? That also costs 10, and it's still going to give me the same thing. All right, because it wouldn't hurt to have a better, faster pick um, with good efficiency and unbreaking. Another foolish thing I just realized, I have all these splash potions of regen that I found in chests that are 33 seconds. I think I can extend them just by adding glowstone. No, redstone. Yeah, I think I can extend them by adding redstone. So let's grab some redstone. And let's just try this out. So right now they're 33 seconds. I should have done this for all my regen potions, and it just didn't occur to me when I found them in a chest that I should still put them in a brewing stand and actually go and extend them, and that was silly. Uh, that could have helped me out earlier in the map. Yeah, because now it's a minute 30, so that's good to know. I am going to enter the quiet. I'm wearing the Protection 2 iron suit that I found in the Zombie Pigman Village. I've got some minute 30 splash potions of regen. I've got Lacerator 4, and then just an Efficiency 1 pick and a Sharpness 1 sword. I figure with the pick, I'm already at level 17. I could probably get up to level 30 reasonably quickly. And then we can just enchant a pick, and we'll probably get Efficiency 4 on it. And then that can be the pick that I can use and potentially repair. And so that is the plan. And I didn't bring a speed potion. So I guess we'll just try to run out here and add some light, get a sense of what we'll be up against. But with this armor, I should be doing really good, because I've never worn armor this powerful in the game thus far. That was helpful. Ouch. Oh, and I forgot about the lacerator. <laughs> I was fighting all those bad guys, and I completely forgot that I have this on my bar. And I bet it does not suck, because it's got sharpness 4. Will it two-hit kill guys? I guess after they've taken some fire damage, at least it will. Uh, and so that's actually going to be a very nice, very powerful weapon. And I think I will kind of light up the whole thing in here. Or let's do this. Let's light up along the left side. And then we can always still have some mobs spawning on the right-hand side. And so we don't have to worry so much about mob caps. I think we'll be smart. And it also looks like... Well, I can't tell. I was going to say it looks like the cave is going to be kind of curling off to the left. Wow, I think that spider just burned to death after I hit him once. And you... Yes, the lacerator kills the silverfish in one hit, it appears as well. Although with sharpness, I think there is some randomness. Because I think each level of sharpness does 0.5 to 1.5 kind of extra damage. And so with level 4, you could do anywhere from... Two to six hearts of extra damage. Oh, I got an iron shovel. You know, I think that might be the first iron shovel that a zombie has dropped. And do zo zombies drop iron helmets anymore? I've killed a lot of zombies on this map, and I don't think I've gotten a single iron helmet from a zombie drop. And I remember they used to drop them um, somewhat frequently. I've gotten just iron ingots from zombies, but I don't know if that's... Oops, hello. I don't know if that has changed, or... I've just gotten unlucky, or what's happening there? Um, but that occurred to me in terms of uh, my armor, is that I was, you know, crafting iron helmets because I never got one from a drop. And I've not seen the spawner flashes for the silverfish, and so I should really keep my eyes out for that because I hear a number of silverfish around here, and I would like them to go away. Uh, and I have to eat some food. And you guys have a date with a lacerator. Ah! Get lacerated. Woohoo! Hey! Speaking of uh, rare drops from zombies, apparently I looked at an Enderman somewhere. So let's be ready for him. And now that the Enderman sound is gone, I can actually talk to you guys again. It is really loud, and it's really long playing uh, for something that also doesn't seem to always really take effect or matter, uh, because sometimes the sound plays, even though 
the Enderman isn't actually angry, and so I'm not sure what's up with that. It seems like it's probably a bug. Although maybe it's just to like be spooky some of the time. I see the Enderman's purple eyes over there. I'm not really sure. And I'm already up to level 20. Let's go ahead, let's do a little run. Get some light further in here. Run circles around these guys, pick up some experience balls. Okay, here is the crazy silverfish. There's a couple of them. And since the lacerator... Oh no, it doesn't always kill them and then it sets them on fire. And then there's a whole lot more silverfish. And so that's a potential problem. Uh, we're going to hit a few more silverfish with lacerators just to get a sense of how lucky or unlucky. Alright, that one died, one hit. So, so far I've seen two die and one hit. And one managed to live. And then one of the silverfish went back in a block, it seems like. Alright, and so I think this lacerator is probably still good on the silverfish. We'll see. Doesn't seem like there's enough silverfish in the air area to cause an apocalypse. Earlier when I was breaking blocks, there were only a few silverfish blocks. Oh, crap! He snuck up on me from somewhere. It seems like there were only a few silverfish blocks, and so it doesn't seem like this whole place is, you know, ready for an apocalypse. Ouch. All right, let's add a little bit more light over on this side and a little bit deeper into the area, staying against the left-hand side. And this armor, I should take a look at... Oh, wow, there's a bunch of skeletons. Well, I'm going to get a bunch of arrows from this, probably. Get lacerated. Ouch. <laughs> I managed to, like, miss them twice, just kind of, like, swinging into the air aimlessly. Oops. Um, I need to eat some food real quick. And I should also check on how much damage the armor is taking. Uh, because while it is excellent armor, I don't want to just completely beat it up uh, for no reason. I'm kind of just having fun fighting the mobs over here, but I could be a little bit more structured if I wanted to be. Oh, the armor's still doing fine. All right. So that's great. So yeah, if this is the kind of resistance that we're going to face, just kind of like natural spawns, or perhaps there were skeleton spawners that I only lit up uh, and never actually found, then this would be fine. We are perfectly well armed for this. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more light right over here. Let's go ahead and take you out. Let's take you out with a bow. That'll kill you. Power one. And yeah, I would really like to find some of the spawners because this is going to continue to be annoying. Um, I'm actually going to take a minute and look for silverfish spawners, but I'll probably cut it out. Aha! Ha! Aha! Ugh! Okay, I found a couple of silverfish spawners. They're actually extremely well hidden, and so I don't think it's worth trying to dig them all out. Um, it seems like a fool's errand at this point. I was hoping it would be easier. And so, let's hop up here. Oh, it's just a little ledge. Is there anything over here? Nope. And so, yeah, we'll just continue battling the mobs and then just make sure that we don't end up in a silverfish apocalypse or that the silverfish start juggling us too much. Um, so long as there's only one or two silverfish, I can kind of easily take them out. And so, since it doesn't look like there's anything up here, I'll go back down to the bottom level and try to just run in and light up some more. Hello, bad guys. Hello, other bad guys. Hello, yet more bad guys. Oh, crap! That one hurt a little bit. All right, and we'll back up. Wow, that's... All right, that is actually a lot of mobs. You know, like, sometimes you say, wow, there's so many mobs in this area, and it turns out that there's just, you know, like, six or something. That is actually a lot of mobs. <laughs> there's, like, 20 on the screen that I can see easily. And there are so many skeletons shooting at me that I'm going to take a lot of damage unless I back off and try to get them coming in a line so that some of them from the back will be shooting the ones in the front, and then I can try to aim at the ones in the back. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, that was a smart idea, actually. Good job, Ryan. Okay. Um, that's pretty cool. Wow, there are so many mobs that I can, like, see some of them in the background already despawning, even though I just, you know, walked a little ways away. Uh, there's got to be a silverfish spawner right around here. Um, but I said I wasn't going to look for them. I'm not going to bother looking for them. One silverfish is not going to kill me. 
All right. And so, oh wow, and I'm almost up to level 30 already. That's also a nice bonus. Um, yeah, all right, let's try to get a little bit more light further on in. I'm sure there must be skeleton spawners, because there's so many skeletons, uh, and I'm just not finding any of the spawners, and instead I'm just um, lighting up the area. But that's fine. I think, I oh, hey, we got a record. And it looks like it might be the gold record, record number 13. Not the enchanted gold record of Good Boulder Fist, uh, which was my favorite weapon, but now that I have Lacerator 4, I think Lacerator 4 is probably going to be my favorite weapon. All right, let's go ahead, mop up some more experience balls, and get some more light a little bit deeper into this area. Focusing, oops, on the left-hand side when possible so that we can leave the right-hand side for some mob spawns so we don't mob cap out the area. And then we'll turn around and hit the bad guys that are coming towards us. Hello, spider. Hello, creeper. Would you stand in front of the skeletons, please? No? That would be just too convenient. All right. This is going to be a fun area, but I wonder if it'll be slow going and I'm going to have to like put it into a montage because it's just going to be the same thing kind of over and over, killing bad guys. And so, yeah, we'll see what I do with the editing here. Aha. Oh dear. <laughs> Sharpness. Sharpness. Critical hit. Whoa, another one. All right. I guess when I do see them, I'm glad to see them. And we're up to level 30 just about, and I have some iron that I can take out of the chest. And so let's go enchant a pick. Level 30, iron pick. Efficiency 4 and Breaking 3! Hey, that's exactly what I wanted. Hooray. That'll be great for breaking spawners and breaking blocks and breaking everything, basically. And so that is super cool. Let's head back to the area. Oh, the poor bat. Oops, he's angry. All right, we have the lacerator, which will do a nice amount of damage to him and knock him back. Great. Okay. Ooh, it's a fun box. There are very few of these. Wow, it's a real fun box. Like, it's got nine spawners. We found a fun box of four spawners back over in Titan Falls. I wonder... There have been a lot of mobs in this area. I've been doing lots of torchlight. But I wonder if there have been more fun boxes, and I just haven't found them. Because uh, this is literally the first one where there's nine spawners altogether that I've found in the map. Oh, crap. Aw, oh, he blew it up. I wanted to break it so I could get the experience. How sad. Alright, but we are back up to level 27. I am running low on torches, and I'm actually running low on coal. Here's some coal, but it would be a whole lot easier to get coal if I had a fortune pick, and so I'm thinking I'll use the next level 30 again on a pick. 
um, and see if I can get fortune, because that would be super cool. All right, I'm just short of level 30, but I have just the thing for that. It's called Bottles of Enchanting. Hooray! Now I'm at level 30. And so I create another iron pick. Let's see if we can get Fortune 3. Fortune 3! An unbreaking. Great. I am going to go mine some coal. Ho 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 ho. I feel so fortunate. What good fortune to find all of this coal. I wonder what the end of the next area has in store for me. Perhaps I should go see a fortune teller. How many more fortune joke pun somethings can I make? Probably not many, because otherwise I'd be telling them rather than babbling. And in less than five minutes, I have more than four stacks of coal. Hopefully that will be enough torches to last me throughout the rest of the map. And so I expect that we've reached enough time for an episode. So we made good headway into the quiet. I'm not sure where the end of that area is going to be, but it's also been a nice opportunity to kind of level up and get some good picks for breaking spawners and for mining coal and doing different things like that. And so next time we will pick back up and probably try to finish off the area of the quiet and perhaps start a new area. Don't worry, I wasn't going to let you guys miss this. Ha 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 Torches, torches, torches! Brian's never created this many torches. Hooray! I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon to finish off the quiet.